At the moment, we're working in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, outside of the reefs, on the very edge of the continent of Australia. This area is incredibly old. It's well studied in terms of the biology, particularly on the reefs, but we still have really big questions about how old this system is and how it formed. The next few days, we're gonna be targeting uh, Ribbon Reef 5 Canyon. We really hope to reveal the deep Great Barrier Reef to the world. Yesterday, we undertook an ROV dive, which took us to the head wall of that canyon. We saw a whole variety of, of marine life for a start, but we saw how that marine life was responding to the seabed in particular. And then that changed dramatically as we hit the hard rock. The beauty of the Sebastian is we could see it, we identified that it looked like hard rock, and we could actually drill a piece out. We're just finishing up with Rotating the arm on the face of this rock and yeah, good. Okay, looks as though we've taken that rock and we've just put it in a bio box too and that's outstanding. We've taken our first rock up. It's one thing to look at this system on a computer, on computer generated models, but to be there in the control room seeing the first vision, the real life rocks in front of us, that's a privilege and something I'll remember for the rest of my life. It's a bit like having a moon rock, you know, think of how hard it is to get someone onto the moon. And one of the things they brought back, of course, was rocks. Well, it's a bit like that for us too. Probably in the order of 40 to 50 million years in age, that rock. It formed at a time when, when Eastern Australia was just in the last phases of having broken up from Gondwana. So straight away, within a couple of days of getting that rock specimen, we've started to fine tune our conceptual models and conceptual understanding of these basement rocks which underlie the Great Barrier Reef. It has completely changed how I think of this Great Barrier Reef margin now, uh, and we can confirm that the Great Barrier Reef has grown on top of this much older, harder sedimentary rock that we now have a piece of. We're in a World Heritage Area. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, it's unique. It's, it's the only seascape like this on the planet. And our duty here is to come in as scientists and understand the long-term history of the Great Barrier Reef over geological time, why it's here, how it got here, because that gives us really important insights into its future and the way it might respond to the pressures of climate change as we go into the next decade and centuries.